All right, we're back with another preview of what you can expect at this weekend's Capital District Reptile Expo here in Albany. Once again, joined by Frank Townsend and Christopher Stokna, both managing partners of the event. So what do we got here? We were met. You were talking about him during the commercial. This is what's called a lily white crested gecko. That's correct. That's right. It's a so lily cool. white crested gecko. So this is one that you see a lot of breeders are. You're not going to see these in a lot of pet stores. Um, if cool. you do, they're probably privately owned. Mm -hmm. um, this one right here. The great thing about lily whites is it's not one of those animals where you breed a lily to a lily to get a lily. You actually have to breed a lily white to a non lily white to huh. get okay. this genetic. Look at that. And it doesn't always happen though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's they're one pretty. of those things where so it's a chance. You either get a 50 50 rare. chance or, right. you know, you don't get it at all. And they're bright oh, white. Pretty soft. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the face does remind me, we were talking about this, of the Geico <laughs> gecko that you see in the commercials, but this is not the same no, type of gecko. It's not the same type of gecko. So that gecko is actually a giant Madagascar day gecko. Okay. Um, we will have those at the show. So, okay, so they'll be there so people can see that. That's yes, great. All right, definitely. I have a quick question. I know I want to talk more about the show. What do they eat? So this guy eats a diet called Pangea. It's a powder formula that you mix with water. Oh. It has all the natural, the nutrients they need for them, but you also want to give them bugs as well. Uh, these guys can I eat crickets, doobie roaches, um, sometimes oh. mealworms. It's, it's great for their health to you know, make them get strong. It's just like us. You know, you want to have a little bit of a diet of everything. You want your protein. Variety. You've got to exactly. have your protein That's with right. your roaches. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, so but this is just a small sampling of what you will have at the expo, which is sure. always so popular. And I know we talked about this earlier. You really want to educate the people who come out. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Do your do your research on before you buy an animal. It's always a big thing. Don't ever impulse yeah. buy. Mm -hmm. um, talk to breeders. Go to the show. Talk to the breeders beforehand. Yeah. Then plan. We always we do two shows a year. Talk to them. See what you need. Get your enclosures. Get everything set up and then go back to the breeder and buy mm. it if you have to. Mm. If you already know what to do, if you have all the experience for it, then you go and get your animal that day. What's the easiest thing to take care of? Is that is there it's, one it's more than the It's all different. Other? Like, uh, yeah. it depends on what everybody wants to do. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Do you want to deal with a desert animal? Do you want to deal with a tropical animal? I mean, there's a little bit of both for each each category. Yeah. Do they, do they require a large like a enclosure? Do they prefer the space? Would it mean that, that is an awesome question to yeah. ask, and we, we actually encourage everyone to ask that question right. when they talk with the breeder because sure. it varies. Like you, you might go and and see a really small monitor lizard that that will fit inside your hand, and you won't realize that it's going to get to be three feet. Long, oh boy! Right? right, so people <laughs> actually abandon a lot of animals because oh, they yeah. keep them for a couple of years, and they get much bigger, or they get aggressive, or their their food changes um, over time. So yeah, th it can be very small, like these guys here. The crested geckos can go in 12 by 12 by 18 inch enclosures, relatively okay. small, whereas this guy is going to go in a four foot by two foot enclosure, so much bigger, and even bigger over time as he gets older in his 60 years of life. And these guys are great, and they're used to being handled but yeah. do, right. do they typically like to be handled if they're a pet it's yeah so good. there's a lot of different <laughs> research on that some say they bond with humans mm -hmm. others say they tolerate it I think it really varies by species yeah. um, you'll know some animals just don't like it right right oh boy, um, but these guys are pretty good you know <laughs> yeah good so I am amazed. On this one's like mugging for the camera. Right. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Being so yeah. good. They're, they're really, really photogenic, those guys are. But this but, is what makes it so fun for everybody who yeah, turns out. Yeah, to really, definitely. you know, the hands on piece is, is everything. I'm sure the kids are smiling ear to oh, ear. Oh, yeah. Right? Awesome. That's why we love doing it. And we actually wanted to mention in our education room, yeah. again, this time, we'll have the uh, well, gator exhibit, right? Yeah. He's bringing a four, it was about a four oh. and a half foot alligator he brought last time. Oh, wow. He's doing half hour presentations. He's doing two of them. It, it's, it, it was amazing. I was very impressed when I saw everything there. He also had an alligator snapping turtle with him, another baby alligator. It's yeah. it was a huge attraction for us back in May. No oh, hands on imagine. with those. No. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'd be staying far away. Well, you can see my it days in close. Florida, I stay far away. Yeah, exactly. Oh my. <laughs> Well, I know we're going to have more coming up in our 9 o'clock hour, right? Absolutely. Is there something yeah, in particular that uh, we're, we're going to showcase that we haven't touched on uh, yet here? We'll, we'll see. I'll bring out both leeches. Maybe I'll put them on. Maybe we, maybe you'll have them on you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we want to make sure we tell everybody where they should be That's right. this weekend. Right, right. So we'll be back. And remember, you see it right there, right? September 17th, 10 to 4 at the Capitol Center downtown. Buy those tickets early if you can. Hmm. We're at the door. They're going to go quick. They expect thousands through those hours on Sunday. All right, 828 right now. Don't let Buddy go off the table. <laughs> no, uh, I'm coming trying. up here. I'm we trying. go off the beaten path one more time in Montgomery County with Cassie Hudson. And she'll share the buzz behind a new bakery that has a lot of people talking. Stay where you are, Buddy.